Speaking up, Detroit's anonymous tip line is seeing a big boost in callers, and one local family is hoping that is going to bring them much closer to badly needed answers. Good evening. Crime Stoppers need your help in finding the person who killed a father of five in Detroit. John Norfleet was shot and killed back in October. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $2,500 for information that leads to an arrest. His mother spoke today pleading for anyone to call with an anonymous tip. Whoever you're laying next to and you know who did this, you're laying next to a murderer and you need to phone in before it become one of yours, someone that you love, someone that you miss every day. I have not went one day without crying for my son. I ask that you please help us. It's gut-wrenching. Uh, the chances of solving that and other crimes, however, appears to be getting better thanks to the efforts of some local pastors. Mm -hmm. Our Kimberly Gill is live right now with the impact that their campaign is having. Kim? Yeah, and, and it's a significant impact. Uh, Ruth and Devin, good evening to you. A group of uh, local pastors came together and they started this initiative called We Speak Up. And just within the last couple of months that it's been started, they say they've already seen a 25% increase in the number of tips that have come into Crime Stoppers. It's our community, and it's up to us to do what's necessary to take care of it. Several members of Detroit's faith-based community came together today to talk more about a fairly new campaign that's only two and a half months old, but it's really making a difference in the community. Between September 23rd and November 30th of this year, uh, Crime Stoppers uh, in Detroit experienced a 25% increase in our tips. We think in large part uh, due to these faith-based leaders and others and the We Speak Up campaign. The We Speak Up campaign is a collaborative effort between Crime Stoppers and churches. They post these large We Speak Up signs outside their places of worship. The intent of the program is to end the no-snitch culture that is paralyzing crime-stopping efforts in our communities. Out of nearly 4,000 crimes that have happened in Detroit over the past 11 years, only half have been solved. The hope is that those numbers go down and more people speak up. Members of our community who know something, who know individuals who are involved and know someone who knows someone that have committed such heinous crimes, speak up, speak profoundly, speak out boldly. We speak up. And now they believe these signs that are in church parking lots are really making a difference. The goal is to have 500 churches involved. Right now they have about 130 churches involved. But the problem is those signs, they cost a lot of money. They cost about $100 a piece and they need help with funding. So if you would like to help, call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. We are live tonight on the West Side. Kimberly Gill, Local 4. Okay, thank you so much, Kimberly.